Hello, everybody. Um, testing out audio stuff, you know the dealio. Uh, please let me know how I sound and if it's too loud or if the music's too loud or anything like that. I'm getting everything uh, finished, getting set up, and I'll be starting in just a few minutes. Okay, testing out the audio one more time. Sounded like my audio is really fuzzy for a second. Is it uh, sounding all right? Alrighty, here we go. Wait till you see the setup, guys. Wait till you see it. Here we go. One, a two, a one, two, two. Yeah. Da -da. Oh, I forgot to fix the color. Dang it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. We're doing new time, new new place whatever this is the last uh <laughs> this is the last uh wednesday live stream for a few like a few weeks um i just wanted to kind of switch things up do it on wednesday uh, i did it last week as well um and today we're going to be continuing our um uh, uh stitched uh background character creation so what does that mean so today we're going to be sorry i gotta get rid of this hoodie there um so today we're going to be making a um uh some so a troll we're gonna be making a troll see basically i'm working on a uh a book for my tabletop game stitched it's a tabletop game that you make from home i say that it's war you can craft so today i want to make a troll for 
the background art for the um, the the front cover of the book and I thought it'd be really fun to make the troll along with you guys and see how it goes last week we made our orc with a bow um, I took the the arrow out but it's actually right here in the back so I can add it anytime but uh, this was our orc uh, who we named Boris uh, today we're gonna be making a troll I don't know what it's gonna look like I've got a few ideas in mind we could add glasses we could add I got some buttons here to add um, like for maybe a hat or something uh, or a shield maybe I don't know uh, but we can yeah maybe we could add glasses I don't know I'm still thinking about it but if you would like to crochet along with me you will need the following materials um, I am using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton I'm using the colors blue brown and white that's all you really need for the main part of your um, troll that's just gonna be to make the body the, the teeth and the pants um, then we'll ha probably have some additional colors in there for things like hair um, if we want to add scars or uh, uh, earrings or anything like that we'll add some additional stuff in there because I'm using worsted weight yarn I'm using a size four millimeter ooh, there we go G four millimeter crochet hook uh, you of course you need a pair of scissors a darning needle I like using a nickel to stuff in the bottom of them to keep them weighed down a little bit it's not necessary but it does make it a little bit easier and then of course some safety eyes I'm gonna be using size eight millimeter safety bead eyes for this video um but yeah it's a pretty chill I think it's gonna be a pretty chill live stream I spent a pretty decent amount of time setting up this background we got little mushrooms everywhere um, these mushrooms actually have faces on the back so we're just keeping them looking that way and as we go through this live stream uh, we are going to be adding more little characters and stuff in the background based on donations so if you would like to help support this channel there's a few ways to do so um, the first and best way you can help support is with a club crochet membership and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different where if you sign up for a club crochet membership during the live stream I'm gonna count it as a um, as a tip and I'm gonna add a little character in the background for you I have my phone here which emails me whenever I get a, a new club crochet member so I should be able to see it um, uh, to keep track of that but if you do sign up for a membership and I don't notice it please let me know I would be happy to uh, add a goblinoid to the background um, another great way to support is with donations like we were just saying uh, if you'd like to help uh, support you can donate right here clubcrochet.com slash tip and your donation should be should appear on the screen somewhere and as a reward I will place a little goblinoid in the background today and our first donation has already gone through thank you so much Tina you rock and for your support we're gonna put in the background a goblinoid a troll let's see this is gonna be from my personal crochet set um, what did I show last week we did the witch last time Oh, this is perfect. Uh, this is one of my favorite trolls that I've ever made. Um, uh, this here is for Tina. This is one of the first trolls I ever made, actually. This is Guillermo. Well, I should say his real name is actually... But he goes by Guillermo. That's a family name, you know, so he, he doesn't really like to go by that. So instead he goes by Guillermo. Uh, <laughs> he's a little bit lighter than most trolls. Mostly, usually I make them like this darker blue, but Guillermo's a little bit lighter. And he is a beet poet um, perfect for this background actually I think he's gonna be chilling like right here maybe he's got his head out he's just sitting there and he's just thinking to himself let's see if we can bend his arms in a little bit there we go. he's just gonna be thinking and that's for you Tina thank you so much for your support um, okay so that's the dealio if if you are crocheting along with me too uh, it doesn't matter if you're crocheting a troll or not um, whatever you're making with me uh, let me know in the chat I can see the chat um, oh can I spell out thank <laughs> thank you Saini asks can I spell out the family name sure it's spelled G X U U V V L T B U and then G well that's a it's a silent G uh, D E E R R 
That's how it's uh, pronounced. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to start by making our arms here. And how has your guys' week been? How has how's, how's the week been? How was your 4th of July? We didn't... I didn't live stream this Sunday because we're doing some Wednesdays for a few weeks and it was actually really nice to not have a live stream on Sunday because 4th of July, you know, nice, nice fun 4th of July. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, and 4th of July was great for me. We got to go to Jules, uh, my girlfriend's brother's place in Sacramento and that was a lot of fun. And I haven't seen him in a long time. Um, so that was pretty cool. Ava's working on a sweatshirt. Good move. I've never actually made a sweatshirt. Abby's making a bikini for her and her mom. I think you're going to have to make that bikini pretty big to fit both of you in there. But, you know. <laughs> Unless you guys are very tiny. Um, <laughs> uh, the Shibi asks, where did I get the glasses for my troll? I'm guessing you mean these ones right here. We might be adding glasses to this troll, too. Um, I'm going to turn down the background music just a little bit. But uh, to answer your question, I made them. So I make them out of wire, and maybe we'll be making glasses for today's troll, too. I think that'd be pretty fun. It's like, you know, it's a nice addition to have to your characters. So maybe we'll add one to this guy. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're just going to kind of play it by ear, see what happens, see what we make. Um, get your guys' suggestions in there as well. We've got a few different colors of wire that we can use for the glasses. And then I can show you how I actually do it. And you can see we've got a lot of different kinds of mushrooms in the background. Um, these I just make for fun, really. Um, I'm working on a new tree. This is a big tree here in the background. Um, but I'm working on a new one of these to make some more background art that we could use for later live streams too. But... Yeah, I don't know. Just have fun making little... My favorite ones that I've made are these ones right here. These three. I really like these ones a lot. I want to do a little um, scenery with these guys. Where there's maybe like a, a little troll or, or goblin sitting under these mushrooms reading a book or something. So that would be pretty fun. So yeah, I'm just kind of playing it by ear as I go here. Ooh, how do you know if your work is secure inside? Like excess yarn will come out, like if children play for it. Um, well, that's a good question. I have, uh, so most of the time I am not too worried about things coming apart. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm using a slightly, you know, tighter, I, I'm a little bit tighter of a crocheter. so. There's one tip right off the back. If you're really a little worried about it, if you're worried that like stuffing or yarn will, or, will come out of the holes, um, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but maybe try using a smaller crochet hook to make a little bit tighter um, stitches. Uh, but the biggest thing that I worry about for children or pets, if you, um, if you play with like animals with your little miniature things, is the eyes falling out. Now, I play with my cats with um, amigurumi, and I have never had the eyes fall out um, because, well, I don't know why. I guess they just have never fallen out. They're very, very difficult for me to, like, remove. Um, as far as yarn and stuffing coming out, that's, that's just probably not going to happen unless your stitches are pretty open. Um, and if you're worried about your stitches coming apart... Um, I guess the the biggest time when that might come into play, where your stitches actually come apart, or is if you're doing a lot of uh, color changes, um, and you don't like uh, change colors correctly. And my tip there is uh, crochet around the stitch, around the new color that you're going to change to at least one or two times before you change colors, and you should be good. Um, it's pretty rare that my that pieces come apart, but I don't, I mean, I play with it, uh, I play with my pieces with, like, a cat who's, like, biting them a bunch and scratching at them and stuff, and, um, 
uh, yeah, so it's not really, um, and, and, oh, and it's never really come apart, so I haven't really had that much trouble. I can't imagine, maybe a dog might tear it apart, tear a crochet apart a worse, but, uh, I don't think a kid would, unless maybe they dunked it into, um, some yarn first, or some water first. I don't really know. I don't think, I think you're probably going to be good. Uh, if you're really worried about it, make it first and make one and then play a bunch with it. Like, really try to tear it apart and do some damage to it and see what happens. Uh, and and then make changes after that. Uh, I guess that's, that's the best tip I got for you. Hope I answered your question. Let me know if uh, you want any more, like, um, specifics about that. Um, da, 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 da. Angel asks, why weren't you live the last two weeks? I actually was. I just changed it to Wednesdays. Um, so I was live last week on Wednesday where we made this here orc. And then I was, um, I just haven't been live on Sundays. Uh, but I'm going to be going back to Sundays for the next live stream. Uh, it won't be this Sunday, but the Sunday after this one, I'll be going back to some Sunday live streams. And then I think I'm going to switch it up. You know, I'm going to do Sunday one week, Wednesday the next week, something like that, uh, just to kind of make it a little bit easier um, for me because especially when it comes to, this, to summer, uh, there's a lot of events going on that I keep missing out on because it's on a Sunday. Uh, and like Father's Day a few weeks ago, um, I wasn't able to do something on Father's Day because it was on a Sunday. And, you know, we, we were live streaming. And I love the live stream. It's really fun. But I felt like I missed out on Sundays and or on, on that Father's Day. And I felt kind of bad. So I thought, okay, well, why don't we switch it up every now and then so that it's a little bit more um, flexible for me to do things on certain weekends and not have to miss out on certain things. Um, I hope that's okay. I need to do a like a form or something that I can get your guys' opinion on when's the best day to to stream other than Sundays uh, but yeah I just kind of like tr thought I'd try mixing it up all right so we already got one arm done that's pretty quick Go ahead and cut that pull that through um okay put that down there Abby uh, says, how about safety eyes? Do you put extra glue to secure them more? Trying to sell to kids, but I'm worried the safety eyes will come out in choking hazard, and I'm not good at embroidery. Um, I actually think that embroider is probably less safe than regular safety eyes, and I'm going to pull a safety eye out here and show you what, um, what I usually do. So usually uh, I put the safety eye on like this, where I place this end in and down to the piece and and I push it as far as it can when it goes on the piece um you know so like this end is kind of like there's a concave part get a little closer that's in and I put it on and it goes like to there now this is technically not the way that um uh these are kind of designed because this does lead to it possibly coming apart again I've never ever had safety eyes come off in fact it's really difficult for me to take safety bead eyes off um, but I do know if you want it a little bit more secure you can place it on this way instead and this is the way it's kind of supposed to be placed on and this will secure it a lot better another thing you want to uh, be wary of is how big the locking bit is because sometimes let me show you a uh, slightly more open one see so yeah, how this one is just let's see let's see if i can just show the background here see how this one you can see through it really it's like way op more open than that one try using a little bit ones with a little bit um close more um closed in hole there that'll keep it locked in a little bit better as well and if you want some additional tips on this i actually have a video called five creative ways to use safety eyes that probably will help a lot of that um uh yeah we'll, we'll probably help a lot with that um with like different ways you can use safety eyes and like how they're supposed to be used um so that should probably help and then um yeah 
Um, yeah, and, and like Zoe said, have you ever tried to remove safety eyes? You got to use pliers or snips to get those out. Yeah, I, that, and that's been the case for me as well. But that being said, sometimes I do have those backing things that are like, for some reason, it's just like way more open than normal. Like that hole is just like, it's just they're manufactured incorrectly. And so you just got to be very wary of those times because when that hole is too far open, it, it, it will the eye will come off because there's nothing really holding it in the back. Um, yeah. Yeah, and if and, and what the Shibi says, have you ever put a safety band eye in the wrong spot and had to take it out, but it was really hard? Yeah, it, it is very, very difficult. Usually to get safety eyes out, I use um, uh, 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 a needle and I push it in the back like that, and then I use a plier and I rip it out. Um, and it always messes up the stitch too because it's like so difficult to get safety eyes off um, Yeah, so I hope that helps uh, I would um, Abby I would like test it out a little bit if you would like to uh, if, if you're like still a little worried about it Maybe test it out a bit Crafty Chats Cafe. Howdy. Howdy y'all. How you doing? How you doing? Switching up the day, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're cool with the the switching it up. Um, I will definitely be switching it up more so in the future. And one of the big reasons why I'm trying to kind of switch it up and try different times is I want to start live streaming eventually more than one time a week. And so I'd like to get it more comfortable where, um, I know you know like like you know. Oh, okay, it's a Wednesday, Louie might be live streaming. Oh, it's a Sunday, Louie might be live streaming. Uh, so that when I start doing more live streams, you know, we have work in progress Wednesdays and we have Monster Mondays and stuff like that. So that's another reason why I thought I'd try out some other days for live streaming. I've just been doing it on Sunday for like, every Sunday for like a year or so now. And so I know that's more of the like, you know, that's what I've been doing, but you know, it's not it's not gonna hurt to try out different times, give some other people an opportunity to join the live streams that normally can't because it's too late or too early for them, stuff like that. Toriana, hello, welcome to the live stream. We are crocheting a troll. I'm not really sure what we're gonna make of it. Oh, I am also going to need some names. So if you have any suggestions for names, I. It might be a little early for a suggestion for a name because usually I like to see the face um, before we give it a name. But if you would like, if you have a really good idea for a name already, I put a link in the top of the description of this video that you can go to and you can submit a name. And I also included a little addition there where you can put in your, na your name and so I can give um, you uh, credit when the, when I, choose my favorite or when we do a poll stuff like that so if you'd like it to give a name there's a form in the description of this video uh okay so that there's the other thing abby is the any alternatives that you do for eyes like what you're saying if you use felt or if you use um if you try to embroider on some eyes I honestly think that those are less safe than using a safety eye because like felt, they'll definitely be able to chomp that off. If they're gonna put it in their mouth, that felt is that is probably glued on is definitely gonna come off. You could try sewing the felt on, that probably would be safer, but um, actually just gluing it on uh, is probably m more dangerous than safety eyes in my opinion because they they'll, those will come off and they could still choke on felt uh, especially if it's like a little bit bigger of felt and same thing with embroidered eyes um, so yeah i think for me i my suggestion for the safe uh, the safest option for safety eye or for eyes is probably safety eyes themselves i think i don't know though i don't have a kid um i have given a lot of amigurumi to children and I've never ever had a complaint or anything like that um, or any problems uh, one of uh, a lot of my best friends have babies with 
amigurumi that I've made that's like their favorite toy in the world, and they chomp on them all the time. And they've never told me any any problems, but uh, maybe I should go out of my way and ask them <laughs> a little bit more. Toriana, how am I? I'm doing all right today. Um, yeah, you know, it's Wednesday. We didn't have Monday. You know, we had a, I had a vacation day on Monday, so I didn't uh, do too much. I didn't do really anything at all. I kind of just, like, vegged out all day. So I'm, I, I have been a little bit behind this week. My to-do list is longer than normal, and my motivation is the same as normal so I'm having a hard time like keeping up with all the things that I have to do but I have a feeling that's going around I don't think I'm the only one in that situation hello a wannabe artist I don't think you're a wannabe artist I think you are a legit artist Ava any tips on using 100% polyester yarn yeah here's a big tip don't I, I am not a fan of using polyester or acrylic yarn if I can avoid it. Um, and the reason for that is I don't like the feel of it. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the fact that it's made out of plastic. Um, uh, I usually like using a natural fiber like cotton, uh, especially for amigurumi. I think cotton shows off the stitches a lot better and you can do more work with it. Or if you want it to be fuzzy, there's other natural alternatives like wool. I just don't like polyester. I don't like it. So there's my tip. <laughs> I would suggest staying away from it. I don't think it's very comfortable to use. And uh, yeah, not, not a big fan of polyester. TBH. It is cheap, but so is cotton. So, and I don't think polyester feels any better on your hands than cotton does. Sometimes it's unavoidable though, like you need a specific color and it only comes in polyester, so you gotta use it. Um, but, you know, that happens. Okay, well we've already made our arms, now I can just make a lip and then get started on the actual main part of the body. <laughs> this should be, I think you know the answer to that. Um, uh, she asks, do I, you know what? Okay, see that? See that little fuzz thing? Before we get going, I'm going to cut around that because I don't want to deal with it. Um, she asked, uh, do I prefer crocheting little or big amigurumi? Um, personally, I definitely prefer crocheting little amigurumi. Uh, and the reason I prefer crocheting little amigurumi is because... It is way quicker and easier. You can sit down and finish a whole project in one fell swoop. I also like making like little miniature toys and you can use them for games or whatever. So I personally like using making little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and I just find that it's, I don't know, I'm just lazy, honestly. I don't like making big stuff because I'm lazy and I don't like, to, I like to sit down make a project and finish that project if possible um it's not always possible but that's my preferred way to do it if i can yeah and that's the other thing ava like if you already got polyester yarn i mean use it uh just you know tr maybe try to like ink eke your way away from it eventually i don't know just an idea my finger is so itchy right now. But you know when you like your finger's itchy, but it's like under the skin, you can't like find, you can't get the itch? That's where I'm at right now. I don't know why. What is the biggest thing I've ever crocheted? Uh, probably a blanket. Uh, I Well, I didn't even finish a whole blanket. It was like half of a blanket. Uh, that's pretty big. That took forever. And to be honest, was really annoying like I didn't enjoy doing it um well I did for like the first three rounds but then after that I was like I just want to make Amy Groomy one two three four five six uh but uh, 
outside of that, what's the biggest thing I've ever crocheted? Um, that maybe that's Amy Gurumi is probably uh, I made a dinosaur once using t-shirt yarn, and it ended up being huge, like you know, like like that big. And it was a T-Rex. It was my little miniature T-Rex pattern, which is about that big. Like it's about this big normally, but it ended up being about this big because I used t-shirt yarn, and it looked awesome. I loved that. Um, yeah, I really liked that one a lot. And so, actually, the other day, let me show you it, because it's right here. I bought um, some massive yarn. I don't know where the hook is for it, but I did buy this massive yarn. Look how big this stuff is. It's huge. Um, I wanna make an octopus for it, with it, and see how big it is, but like, look how thick that yarn is. It's huge. Uh, so I wanna try making an octopus with this and seeing how big I can make it. I think it's gonna be pretty big. I think it's gonna probably be about that big. I'm gonna give it to my friend, um, my friend's about to have a kid, and when I was born, um, <laughs> when I was born, my brother, like, gave me a gift. I, I mean, when, I mean, sorry, when my brother was born, who's younger than me, he, like, gave me a gift. He gave me the Aristocats on VHS and a little notepad with drawing on it, and I never forgot about it. It was a big deal to me. And so my friends are having their second kid now. They have a little boy and they're about to have a second little boy. And so I thought it'd be really fun to make this for for um, uh, Connor, that's his name, and give it to give it to them and tell them like, give it to Connor and say that it's from the new baby because he'll never forget it. I just think that'd be really sweet and cute. Uh, hopefully I finish it in time. Yeah, we're gonna see. I, I really definitely wanna do a, uh, like a little clip. Um, uh, like a little video of, of me making that octopus with that giant yarn to see how big it actually gets. Cause I think it's going pretty massive. Um, yeah. Sunshine, do you think the game board for the dino game can be crocheted? Yeah, actually, I think you could probably crochet it. Um, it's just like squares, so you probably can crochet it. You still would need to make the cards for the game, but but the board itself probably could be crocheted. Um, huh, I need to think about that more. That could be kind of cool. Could be a cool idea. Uh, I did miss a comment there. Do I follow any other crochet YouTube channels? I follow a few. Um, I mean, I follow like Sir Pearl Gray. Uh, I follow. Yeah, I follow a few that I don't remember the names of them all, but I do try to avoid too much of um, like tutorial crochet channels if I can, be just because I don't want to like steal their ideas. Like even if it's inadvertent, I'd really like to not um, like have what they do influence what I make much just because like I don't, I don't want to be seen as like, hey, you know, he came up with this. Oh, I do follow TLC uh, Y. I think that's how it goes. I do follow her channel. I like it a lot actually. Um, and she's just so sweet. I've emailed her a few times uh, and she's just a really nice human being. So I do follow her and watch her videos relatively often as well. Um, uh, Angel, what dino game? So I am working on a new game uh, called, it's called Lava Run. It is a game where you are, um, you play as a dinosaur running away from a volcano. Uh, I've been trying to get the play test for the game going. Oh shoot, I I messed up a stitch right here, so I gotta go back. Um, uh, it's a game where you play as a dinosaur running away from a volcano. I'm still like working on all the design for it. It has a board 
and you crochet the uh, the characters that you would play with. Actually, I can show you the board. It's right here. It's really cool, but it does need a little bit more work. So, I don't know where the dinosaurs are. They're somewhere. I put them somewhere, but here I can show you like parts of the board. Well, this is the board for the game. I'm still working on it. Is it lagging? Let me know. Uh, someone says that it's lagging on their end, but yeah, you can see if you're a dinosaur, you start right here, and each turn you have to like play cards to make the lava flow, and you have to run away from the lava to get to the end of the board. Um, I'm still working on getting the play test out because it's gonna need to be tested a lot uh, before I come out with it. Uh, I don't expect that I'll actually come out with the game until probably next spring or summer, but the playtest should be, honestly, uh, the playtest should have been out like, like a while ago, but I keep finding things in the game that I'm like, oh shoot, I need to fix that first, I need to fix that first, and you know me, I've got like a million projects, so projects squeak by at like a snail's pace because I can only do so much at uh, so much time. So yeah, that's what that's what Lava Run is. It is very cool. I would say that it is a lot more approachable than Stitch, uh, Stitched, which is this the game that I'm making pieces for right now. Um, yeah, it's a lot more approachable, a lot more kid friendly. I would say you can probably play it ages six and up pretty easily. And it is a two to six player game, so a lot of people can play. It's very, very cool. Keep a lookout. Eventually, I'm going to be um, opening up the play test to like 500 people. So it'll be like uh, si first signs up, the first person that signs up, first people that sign up get to try the game out, give me their feedback on it, and then eventually I'll probably be doing like maybe a Kickstarter or something for it because we do need to make the board and the cards and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a it's a long, long plan, you know, in the future, but uh, I do think it's gonna be cool and I think you're gonna really like it a lot. Okay, so now I'm making the ears for my troll. And what I'm gonna do for this troll is I'm gonna do extra long ears because I really like it when the trolls have super long ears. It just, I don't know, it just looks kind of fun and silly to me. So I get them a little bit longer than I normally do. Ava, do I have a TikTok? I do, I actually have two TikTok channel, two TikToks accounts. Um, there's one for Club Crochet, you can find it, uh, it's just at Club Crochet. And I actually just came out with a TikTok yesterday on that channel for, um, uh, for Boris, this, the the orc we made last week. Um, and I'll probably do another one today for whatever troll we're making here. But yes, I do have TikTok for that one. And then I also have one for myself, uh, Louis Loops. At Louis Loops is my other TikTok. Um, and I haven't really been posting much to that one. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with each of them. Like, what's the difference between the two TikToks? So I'm still kind of playing around with that, trying to figure it out. But... Um, I'm definitely going to be probably using the Club Crochet TikTok a little bit more than the Louis Loops one, uh, at least in the meantime, because I understand what I'm going to be posting to that one. You know what I mean? Um, it's at Club Crochet or at Louis Loops. There's two different ones. I would say follow the Club Crochet one. I mean, you should follow both of them, but... Definitely follow the Club Crochet one. Two, three, four, five. You're very welcome. Okay. Well, we got our face done. ears made. I mean, we got the head starting the ears made, I should have said. 
Hey, Abby. Welcome. You're not too late. <coughs> I wish I had a water. I think I forgot to bring my water in here. I'm out of coffee, too. Ugh. I'll text Jules real quick and ask her to bring me one. It. It. Dang. It. Abby is working on a sweater for her great-grandma. Oh, my God. Your great-grandma is going to love you. You're going to be her favorite grandchild. Um, yeah, how about y'all? Well, I'm making a troll. Uh, we actually have someone else in here making a, um, a sweater also. I saw someone was making a sweater. Uh, yeah. I actually saw one per. Someone was n able to crochet it all. Tassilarian, right? She's saying that she was not feeling well. But I think. I don't know. Is anybody else crocheting? What are you making? So I think what might be fun for this troll is either glasses or or one of these large buttons as like a hat. And that might be a little much because it kind of, because so this is going to go on the front cover of the book. So maybe we want to simplify it a little bit and not use those buttons. And instead we'll do glasses and some fun hair. What do we think about that? I'll need your advice on colors and stuff like that a little bit later too. What color is the troll? This would, uh, I believe that the yarn I'm using is called Blueberry. It's very blue. Angel's making a pink koala. Abby, I, I think, Abby, uh, Amigurumi is easier than you think it is. I mean, yeah, you do have to crochet a little bit tighter, and there's, like, you know, it's different. But, you know, I'm a big fan of Amigurumi. Ooh, scooting in. Jane is almost done with the Rough Draft Dragon. I can't wait to see your uh, advice and your feedback. <laughs> oh, we had... Uh, now, I don't know if it's anybody in the chat, but we did get a brand new Club Crochet member. Um, so if you are in the chat and you are a club and you just signed up, thank you so much for signing up. I am going to add a little goblin or troll or something to, you know what, let's do something a little bit bigger. Let's do, um, let's see, we did the zig last time. Did we, did the, did we do the old man ogre? last last week Does anybody remember well let's assume we didn't let's add um let's add our old man ogre i don't think he has a name but this is for let's see what who who signed up hold on hold on eh wrong email can't find the name also I don't know if I should announce the name oh and if you wanted to sign up for a membership to Club Crochet I'll explain what that entails but yes Amy well her name's Amy I won't say the rest of her name but Amy if you are watching the live stream uh, thank you so much for signing up for a membership and I'm gonna put this ogre out just for you and he needs an old old man ogre name. I don't have one, but if anybody's got any suggestions, uh, let me know. I like his hair on the back a lot. We'll put him. He's kind of got a Mr. Miyagi vibe. You guys remember Mr. Miyagi? We'll go. We'll go back. We'll go. We'll go right here. We'll move this mushroom around. Put the 
the mushroom. Put the mushroom on this. There we go. And uh, yeah, so memberships on Club Crochet uh, get you access to all my patterns. So if you would like any of my patterns, consider becoming a Club Crochet member. You get early access to future patterns. Um, membership accounts got access to the pirate hat pattern that is coming out, I think, next week. But they got it a month early. Uh, you get access to all my patterns. So like this troll pattern, for example, it normally costs uh, uh, money. But if you have a membership account, you actually get access to it. Each of my patterns have video tutorials, uh, PDF tutorials, and members even get new um, kits mailed to their door each month with all the materials that they need to make whatever we're adding to the library that month. So this month, uh, members got a kit to make uh, Florence the Flamingo. Whoop. And a Flamingo Burb. Boop. They were actually allowed to make uh, either one, uh, and the kit uh, came. The kit was shipped out yesterday, so they'll be getting it in just a week or so. We're actually going to make these on a live stream soon as well. So yeah, that's a membership. And if you sign up for one during a live stream, I'll put out something for you. Oops, oops, oops. I'm going a little bit further than I want to here. Um, so this is about the point where we can add our face. Let's go ahead and mess around with that. Gonna do, start with our eyes. We're gonna do there. What's the most dangerous insect? The mosquito. I think the mosquito is probably the most dangerous insect. It has killed the most amount of people, I, I would assume. But, Takoyaki Crochet, you let me know. By the way, Takoyaki Crochet is, uh, uh, has been crocheting a bunch of different octopi and putting them on um, Instagram, and they are so cool. So if you want to check them out, check them out on Instagram. He's got a bunch of little octopi in there. It's very cool. Nope, not a mosquito. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. The most dangerous insect. I don't know. I give up. What is the most dangerous insect, Takoyaki? Takoyaki. Ava says Black Widow. I don't think Black Widows are nearly as dangerous as people think they are. Make sure I got enough yarn here. Close. Oh, dude, Cooperlicious, thank you! Cooper! Dude, Cooper and I were emailing the other week. So, Cooper, I'm gonna put out a, um... I mean, 10 bucks, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome, thank you so much. How about we put out the chef? You get a hobgoblin for that. This is... Chef Borardi, not Boyardi, Borardi. I just named him. Cooper, if you can think of a better name, let me know. But he is a, a chef. Don't worry, he washes his hands like every now and then. Um, <laughs> he's just picking his nose. He's got his little, I wanna make a new um, spoon for him. Uh, because I, I don't really love this crocheted spoon. I think it'd be better if it was like a different kind of spoon. But uh, it looks all right. But everything else about this guy, I love. And he's going to be out on the live stream for you, Cooper. Thank you so much. But yeah, I've been talking with Cooper recently. He's going to help. Um, he's helping me out test some stuff out for Stitched, too. Because we need to make a bunch of little... I don't know, there's just a lot that goes on to that game, so it'd be nice to have some testing there. But he's gonna be right there for you. How much is the Hobgoblin pattern? I think it is 
five bucks I'm not sure but it is available with a Club Crochet membership which gives you a free trial and then you can just cancel afterwards don't tell Louie I said that though <laughs> um yeah but there are there yeah it's available with the membership if you want we're gonna put the lip pretty high up the way we kind of did on our like we're gonna go like that you know so he's, he's got kind of a high lip let's see how that looks if we don't like it then we can always move it down if we want to we gotta add some teeth to it too Once you get the lip started, it's it's a lot easier. Um, hey, Abby, uh, uh, not Abby Register, but the other Abby uh, was asking about. Um, <laughs> was asking about. Uh, 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 eyeball stuff, how to keep your eyes in. Another great way to keep your eyes locked in is to embroider around the eye to make like eyelids. And that'll help keep them in too. So what I like to do is like go like this. And I always think this adds just so much character to your Amy Groomy to do this, but it's also just fun uh, and a great way to lock in your eyes. But basically I'm just gonna crochet around it and it's gonna add a little eyelid to the bottom of our eye like that. And that'll keep it the eye locked in a little bit better also. So there's another little tip for you if you're looking for more uh, ways to um, keep your eyes where they where you want them to be. Okay. Hey, Janny, Yanni, Johnny, Janae. I forget, there's two Janes. Whoop. Washer gave out on. Oh, you know what? Here's another tip about eye stuff. Um, if you get eyes, well, I had one. Every now and then you get eyes and they come with this hard back and they are garbage. I hate them so much. But the soft bags are a lot better. Um, these They have like a soft plastic one. Those are the ones that I usually do. Keep those eyes protected. Well, he's gonna, I think this one might get even more protection for his eyes because I think we're gonna be adding glasses to it. But I don't know yet. I also need to add hair, but uh, we don't want to do a ponytail. Yeah, that's right. John Knee. Yeah, I was right. John Knee. I remember now. Um, uh, so we don't want to add a ponytail like we had for our last week's one because you know he's already got a pony one's already got a ponytail and then we're also going to have the other one some of the other characters in it we're going to do we need four characters total on the front of the book and I'm going to do Zazig as one of them so he's kind of got this patchwork thing going on and then Shank who's got this uh, hoodie so we don't so we got a ponytail, some patchwork, and a hoodie. So what's our next one we could do? We could do, um, what about like maybe sideburns with glasses? That could be kind of fun. Or we could do, um, we could do a beard. Beard might be a good idea. I definitely think glasses would be a good addition though. Because it gives the idea that that trolls are smart, which um, in Stitched, trolls are smart. So I think glasses are going to be added. Now we do have to figure out what color we want to make the glasses. We can make them black. We can do gold glasses. Ooh, gold glasses might be pretty cool. How do you feel about gold? I'm going to have to find the brass for that, though. Oh, Divine, Divine Rose Knight says goggles. Goggles might be a little bit 
difficult because not because it'll be difficult to make but because um i think that'll make people think that you can get goggles in the game i don't know because i want to keep it somewhat simple because it's going to be the front cover of the book so maybe goggles will be a little bit much a dorky troll dorky is dorky is right exactly what we're looking for um, okay, so we're gonna put the mouth going in here, and then we'll add teeth to it, which I think will add a lot of character to our to our troll. We got that's pretty good for a, for a lower lip, and we'll just add some teeth. Yeah, gold, gold or silver says Abby. I like silver too. I th think I have silver like readily available, but if, I'll, I'll look for the gold. Um, I've got like some brass wire that could work for gold, which would be nice too, because then I can show you how I do it, how I make glasses. Which I think I've shown in the live stream before, but you know, it's not gonna hurt. John E. John E. Jane? Well, it's one of those. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna do some we gotta make some teeth. Now where did I put that white yarn? We got the brown yarn here. Ah, oh, here it is. White yarn. Santiago! Welcome. Never too late. Ooh, dude, Zoe, that's a great idea. One big fuzzy eyebrow. That's not a bad idea at all. Like a like a unibrow, that could be pretty fun. Ooh, have fun with that anatomy review. Do the anatomy of a troll. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna be making the teeth a little bit big because I like the idea of him having like tusks. Maybe not like full on tusks, but pretty close. Um, these trolls are are d heavily designed. Uh, uh, with um, heavily des heavily inspired by trolls from World of Warcraft, so it's got like some World of Warcraft kind of vibes there. And in World of Warcraft, uh, the trolls in that game have really big tusks. Um, that's like their kind of kind of their thing. So it might be kind of fun to do some big tusks too on ours. Oh, I know what this song is from. So do we, do we do one big tooth in the middle? No, we should do on the outside so it doesn't get in the way of our glasses. Let's try like over here. Maybe we should make our glasses now. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let me find the stuff for the glasses so I can I can make them now so we get some idea of how we want our glasses. So let me find. I need to find my brass yarn or brass uh, wire first. So, one second. Let's see where would I put those? In here? No. In there? No. Where would I put that? Don't ask for silver. Well, this could work. We might use this. This might work. It's kind of like brass-ish. So that silver might be even better. And then I also have some green. I think I have some black too. Somewhere. Ooh, that's kind of cool. This is kind of neat.
Oh man, I totally forgot about these. Check this out. I just found these while looking for the brass. Check out this nose. It's a koala nose. Isn't that cool? Hope to use that sometime. For a monster or a creature. Let's see, we got these. Kind of cool. Yeah, I got so many cool things in here. Maybe we could add like a bead kind of situation too. We'll put these to the side. Yeah, I can't find my brass glasses, my brass stuff, but that's okay. Let's try silver. We can always switch it out with Guillermo's glasses too, if we really want to. So I'm gonna start by making a little bit of these, a little bit of an extra, get some extra uh, wire here, like that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so here's how glasses are made. Oh, dude! Ooh, a red troll with a sword. Maybe. Okay, so Johnny. Johnny! Just uh, donated. Thank you so much. I don't know if I have a red troll with a sword, but I do have something pretty awesome. I got an orc with a sword somewhere. Here he is. How about this? So I don't have a troll, a red troll with a sword, but I do have uh, probably the next best thing. He does have red hair. Um, I got this orc with this sick sword. Look how cool that sword is. This is actually made out of a nail that my dad, my dad has a little blacksmithing shop. So he, he just took a nail and he just smashed it down and turned it into a sword for an orc. And he's got, look, he's got red hair too. So it's like, uh, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much what you're looking for, except he's not a troll. He's an orc. Um, troll slowly creeping away. <laughs> Um, thank you, Johnny. Oh my God. Thank you so, so much for your donation. I really, really appreciate that. And I hope this, uh, suffices for your, for your red troll. Instead, I got a, a dope orc with a, <laughs> with this awesome sword. This thing would do some real damage to one of these guys probably too. So we're going to put him, let's see, we got to make room for him. Let's go. Go ahead and move this log out of the way a little bit. Put him right here. He looks so tiny there, but he's not tiny. Okay, so we're making um, some glasses now. So here's how I usually do it. I'll take a, um, I actually probably want to use a bigger crochet hook. Something like. one of these or or the round part of this let's do the round part of this so it's like a really big glasses and I wrap around the glass the the uh, 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 like a uh, like a pen basically like that okay so that's step one you do that and then uh, step two you take this end and we'll wrap around like that and we probably should grab our pliers here. And, Cause this, usually I use um, wire that's a little bit like easier to work with, but this stuff is pretty serious. Some pretty strong stuff, but that's all right. Um, we can wrap around it twice if we want like, um, if we want more design there. And then the middle will go around and then we're gonna do another circle here.
that. Oh wait, we want to go, oh, I'm sorry, we want to go around the back of it, so we're gonna go like. That instead. Oh, okay, well this class is, this side is looking a little wonky. We can fix it. Like that maybe? Pretty good. And then we'll take this end and we'll do the same thing as we did on the other end. We'll go around it. And then around it like this. Okay, so see there's the basic shape of it. And now we can cut these ends a little shorter and, and do some tweaking to make it look right. One. Probably even have enough for another pair of glasses if we wanted. Two. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend. Oh, man, this stuff is pretty difficult to work with. I think I have, uh, whatever. I have some other pliers somewhere that could help, but I can't find them. So we're gonna bend this side up a little bit, in, and then this one we wanna bend out a little bit. That. Thing in there. It's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. If you ask me. And now we got some glasses. Let's see. Let's make sure they fit right on the guy. So they would go in right here and right here. Uh, okay, so the the backs of these are a little long, so we don't really need them that long. So let's go ahead and cut those down a little bit. Oopsies, hopefully I can find that eventually. think do we like those glasses on him I think they're pretty cute they're huge but that makes that makes him look just smarter we use this little bit here kind of bend it around it maybe if we go like I'm trying to like bend the circle a little bit more the way we want it to be. I'm gonna do the same with this side. So I'll actually make the glasses a little bit wider too, which I don't know if I don't know if that's gonna be good or not, but we'll find out. I really want I really want this glasses to go up a little bit like that. There we go. That's pretty good. Let me just put that in the head. Boop, boop. Might need to bend those down a little bit. I like it. Okay, so our guy's got glasses now. Well, now, I'm not gonna keep these on in space for a sec. Oh, the mushroom messed up. Uh, but we will, we'll add those a little bit later. For now, we'll put them in the, put them on the, our, our um, chef there. Um, <laughs> with a big fuzzy mustache. Ooh, not a bad idea. That sounds fun. Um, Oh yeah, okay, so we got some questions about kit stuff. 
Um. Oh, that was a good back crack. Let's see. You want to hear my neck crack? Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Sorry for creep freaking you out. Okay. So actually, yeah. Let's add these glasses in real quick because we want to add our tooth in and we don't want it to cover up. He needs a tooth, you know. We don't want it to be in the way of our glasses too much if we can avoid it. Looks like maybe we need some smaller tooth. Whoopsies. Let's try a tinier tooth. Um, okay, a question about... Uh, <laughs> question about uh, pro kits. How much do pro kits cost? Um, so they are uh, the first... They're $20 a month, but for your first month, it's only $15 a month. So that's my, yeah. That's that's the answer to that. Um, and then regular memberships uh, start as a free trial, and then you get a, um, you can get a, uh, it's, it's $5 a month after that. And we actually just created a way to sign up for memberships with uh, PayPal accounts. We, we were getting, I was getting a lot of requests for that, and it took me a while to figure out how, but we got it. I got it figured out. So, um, if you would like a membership now, uh, you can with a PayPal account if you'd like to. Okay, so we're gonna add the first tooth right here and here. I think that's gonna be a good spot. Before I get this out, give that a shot. You realize <laughs> missed by many. That's nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do we have any? Um, do we have many suggestions yet for the name? Let's check it out. We've only got two responses so far on what to name the troll, which is probably makes sense because you don't even know what he looks like yet. Diana thinks Bobby the troll. Uh, if you would like to suggest a name, you can do so. In uh, if you look at the um, oh wow, pull that tooth out a little bit. Um, if you look in the description of this video, it'll be the top link. So we'll say like, name this troll. Um, I'll also put it in the chat right now. So there, I tossed it in the chat real quick too. So you can you can suggest a name in that Google form. Okay, so now we got a tooth in there. Let's see how the tooth looks with our glasses. Perfect. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Cause it'll probably be like facing like this way. Just like slightly looking over. I love it. Great. That's a great name. Rakni? Rakni? Rakna? I like that. You're thinking in the right you're 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 in the right headspace there, because we're looking for like kind of like a trolley name, you know? Okay. So next up we need to do um, well we continue on the body. And then we can add some other details later, like hair and stuff like that, once we have um, our head like, pretty much done. I mean, our, our, our whole piece pretty much done. So I need to decrease down from 18 to 12, I think. Let me see, I'm on round. Yeah, okay, so I'm on round eight. So. Decreasing down there. I should really be using the check marks. Um, 
and all my PDF tutorials, there's check marks so that you can keep track of where you're at. And uh, it's really, really cool, but I keep forgetting to use them, so I should use them a little bit more often. Ooh, Zoe's thinking wild hair coming out of the ears. That sounds pretty cool. Cause we're looking for, it looks like we're looking for someone like nerdy. Maybe he's like a scientist. Maybe he's like a weird, uh, I mean like he can't be that good of a scientist cause he's still a troll, but maybe he's got like some weird um, like ideas. So maybe he's a little crazy. Maybe the other orcs think he's a little crazy. He's not crazy, but maybe they think he's a little crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that. Okay. So we already had the eyes. Now we are on to round nine. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the check mark. Boom. Easier than squeezier than peasier. <laughs> Zoe's like, yep, yep, that's what's gonna happen. What color, what color of uh, hair do you think we should do for that, Zoe? I'm thinking that because the glasses are gray and the face is blue, we're looking for something that contrasts the blue. Um, and I don't want something too crazy colorful, but we also don't want to just use the same brown that we use that we're using on um, our orc here. So we, I don't really want to use this fuzzy brown yarn because it's just too. I mean, we can, we could use this because then it's fuzzy, but it might be better to do some kind of like, um, let's see. I mean, brown would be still good. Maybe like some kind of dark brown that's like closer to the tree color. I don't know. See how the face is coming out there. It's pretty good. Brainy the Smurf. I mean, troll. <laughs> green. Hope is saying green hair. That would be interesting. I do have some... F I think I've got some fuzzy green that might be pretty cool for that. But let's see. Let's do a round of... Let's get back to the... Um, I do have a tan beige color. I don't know if a tan beige color is going to look... Well, actually, maybe that would look good. Hmm. We can add the hair a little bit later, so let's um, let's get a little bit further along, and then I'll grab like a bunch of different colors, and we can get your guys' opinion on that. You help me decide. <laughs> I do like that name, Doctor Pungent. What what about like? Let's see. How can we troll? Or how can we like gobliny that the word pungent up a little bit? Pungent. Pungent. P P U N J O N T Punjant? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just thinking of ideas of how we can because you know they all have like trolly ish names like Guillermo. <laughs> One, two, okay, so I'm increasing back up now. I see. And then I'll increase up here. It might be fun to add some like scars or warts to them too. We can do that. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far. Oh, we got a new member. We got a new Club Crochet member. Oh, Tassilarian. Dude, thank you. Tassilarian just became a Club Crochet member. Thank you so much. Let's put out something real nice for you. Okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got for you? Let's see. Let's, oh, let's go into the big, the 
big bag here. How about something a little different? Let's see, we have... What do you think about a fungaloid, Tessalarian? Would you rather have... I think you're in the chat right now. If you are, I'll give you, I'll give you like um, a few minutes to decide. You can either do a, a fungaloid. Well, you choose. Do you want a troll, an orc, a fungaloid, a hobgoblin, a, go a, a goblin? Okay. Well, we could do... I don't know if a dragon's really going to fit in the back there. Uh, you have to get in on that dragon rough draft. <laughs> You're so funny. Janny says, welcome to the fold. Let's add a little bit of stuffing in this while Tassilarian thinks about what kind of creature she wants. We could do a... Um, a, a oh, oh, okay. What about this? I got a good one for you, Tassilarian. Hold on. This is a character that is not out yet, um, but it is in like super early play test. Like as in, I've never even tested it yet because I've come up with, I came up with it like a couple weeks ago. Um, oh, he's in the other room. Oh, a fungaloid, perfect, fungaloid works. Fungaloid works. That's better anyhow. Okay, so. I think I like this one a lot because it's very unique. Um, okay, so let's do that. So Tassilarian, this is for you. Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, this little fungaloid is is now your best friend and he will probably need a name. Um, you can think about that. <laughs> um, that laugh was weird. Um, so I don't know what to name this guy. So you got to come up with a pretty good name for him. He's modeled after the, those mushrooms that you get in like um, Chinese, like hot and sour soup. Um, but we need, wait, we need to see a new guy now. Maybe the next, maybe the next one. Um, I don't know what to name him though you got to think of a name for me but i really like i just think he's such a unique design i don't actually don't have a pattern for this out yet so i'll have to like work on a pattern if you let me know if you guys think this is really cool let me know um i might be able to do a pattern for this sooner or later oh wow a lot of people do like it cool hello dino cat um so he's gonna be out there for you castellarian Thank you so much for becoming a member. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are curious of what that means, um, if you go to clubcrochet.com, you can sign up for a membership. You can even get a free trial and it uh, gives you a bunch of extra perks. You get patterns and all that other fun stuff. And if you do it during this live stream and I notice it because my phone's here and it gives me an email whenever someone signs up for a new membership, I'll put out a little character for you. And this one is out for Tassilarian put him right put him right here he'll, hot, he'll, he'll blend in with the mushrooms no, I don't want him behind that mushroom no. let's go put him right here you know what might be fun let's see, do I have a here we'll do this too we'll give we'll give him a hat so silly <laughs> that's great that's great thank you so much again okay continuing on yeah that's exactly what it is takoyaki that's that's what he's based off of now normally I increase straight up to 18 here but I'm gonna kind of slowly increase it up instead try that I've been I've been trying to like redesign these patterns since I'm going to be coming out with a whole new book for all these characters um, I mean that's the point of this live stream by the way if you're coming in late and you're curious of what we're doing here I guess this is a best better time than any to explain it 
Um, I'm working on a book uh, called Stitched, or You Can Craft, and it's using my game Stitched, uh, which is a tabletop game that you make from home, but it's going to be a lot more than that. It's going to teach you how to play Stitched, how to make different characters out of uh, whatever you want, so you can make them out of clay or Legos, and it's also going to come up uh, come with all the crochet patterns for all the pieces as well. And since I'm doing that, I'm going to be redoing a lot of these patterns um, and redesigning them just a little bit because I have made hundreds of these goblins and trolls and stuff. So it's a better time than any to kind of improve or, or change the designs just a little bit, make them a little bit uh, more, I don't know, different, just slightly. Just these very subtle changes that I'm changing. Gwanny Square! <laughs> I like that name. That's fun to say. Gwanny Square. Gwanny Square. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen you. Well, hello, Gwanny Square. This is me. I'm Louie. Nice to meet you. So far, so good. Where? Oh, uh, Abby asks, where can we get it when it comes out? So the reason we're doing, uh, I'm doing the book is I'm going to be doing a big Kickstarter for it. So it will be available for sale eventually, as well as a big kit. Uh, it's going to come with a huge crochet kit. Like seriously, it's massive. It, it has um, enough yarn to make uh, two sets of these characters so that means you can make two ogres a hobgoblin four goblins two trolls two orcs um you'll be able to make a uh the treasure chest which looks like oh, looks like this you'll be able to make a um a relic which looks like this um you'll also be able to make some miniature crocheted pieces which look like this and it'll come with um you know video tutorials for everything it'll be pretty big so it what i'm doing first is we're going to turn it into a kickstarter first um because which, which will give you the option to like get it at a little bit of a discounted rate um and you'll be able to choose if you want to have the digital version of the book there's going to be a physical version of the book and then there's a bunch of different kit versions so there's one that's a crochet kit there's going to be one that's a uh, pop-out pieces kit. So those are going to be like little pieces that you make that are out of cardboard um, that pop out. I can actually show you a preview one, I think. Oh. Uh, I gotta be honest, I don't know. My room is like, my craft room here is like a bit of a mess. And I don't have the pop-out pieces, the prototypes for pop-out pieces at hand right now. But, um, yes, so, so it'll be out for early release for Kickstarter. Um, Abby, please notice me again. Uh, how much will it all cost? So I'm still trying to figure out cost, but uh, I'm thinking that the book is going to cost like, uh, I mean, don't hold me to this, but I'm thinking around like maybe 25 for the book and, um, and then, uh, the kit is probably going to be pretty expensive, like maybe $50 for the whole kit, um, and that's something like that, uh, which I think is, com is pretty reasonable because it comes with like a lot of materials. Plus, it comes with actual nickels because uh, I usually like to stuff my characters with nickels, so I needed something to weigh them down, so it's actually going to come with money, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Funny money. Uh, oh, and it'll come with uh, coins, too. It'll come with bunch of dice stuff like that so yeah it's a it's it's a lot um, as you can imagine I have a lot that I'm working on outside of just the book we're making the pop-up pieces you can see why I've been very busy uh, I wanted to come out with this Kickstarter on August 1st but I'm not able to do that now so I'm moving it back to uh, September so we're probably gonna be coming out with it in like September 15th I think is gonna be the Kickstarter uh, uh, that's the rough time now. So again, things might change. I might have to push it back, but I'm thinking right now about like um, uh, September 15th or so. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, it comes with a lot, a lot, lot. Um, so I don't know exact. Like, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's my my goal is to have it uh, to everybody who orders it by Christmas. So that's that's the idea. It is quite a lot. Um, and in addition to the book, like if the Kickstarter goes really well, I'm doing a bunch of extra um, like stretch goals. There's going to be additional characters that can be unlocked if, if we make enough money or if, or if enough people crochet pieces. Yeah, this is I, I, I'm really supposed to be like a little bit more secretive about <laughs> all the stuff for this, but I'm just so like. Clearly, I'm very excited about this, as you can probably tell. So, um, I'm, I'm kind of giving you a little bit more information than I probably should right now because things probably will change. But, yes. And then after the Kickstarter, I'll, I'll probably have it for sale. Um, I, I mean, you know, fingers crossed the Kickstarter goes well because if it doesn't go well, I'm probably not going to do this. Um, so, if you are like, yeah, it, I would really, when the Kickstarter goes live in September, I know that's pretty far away, but like, keep it in mind because I really could use your help. I could really use some support if you are able to, um, to, to, to support this project around then. Uh, cause I'm, I'm a little worried about it cause I think I'm going to go for like a little bit more than I normally do. For, I don't know. We're, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. I'm working with another company for for how to make the pop out pieces. They're so cool though. I, I can't wait to show you them. Once they once I have prototypes made, I'll I'll, I'll show you some of them. I'm also working with some 3D uh, artists right now. Uh, uh, they're friends of mine who actually have a YouTube channel where they do. Um, Um, I, they have a YouTube channel where they do like 3D modeling and I met them at VidCon a while back. So I sent them a, some crocheted goblins that I made and I said like, Hey, I really could use your help. Um, obviously I'm going to pay them, but, uh, we're looking to make 3D models of these so that people with 3D printers can print their own pieces too. So you could do, you could crochet your own, you can use the pop-up pieces, or if you have a 3D printer, you could 3D print your own. And then we're also, uh, you know, if it, if the Kickstarter goes well enough, I'll do a um, a uh, uh, tabletop simulator version using the 3D models too, so that you can play the game with your friends from far away. So you don't have to actually like um, be right next to your friend to actually play the game. You could do a tabletop simulator instead, which is like a video game version of tabletop games. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, Tina, good night. Thank you so much for staying up. Thank you so much for your donation, Tina. I really, really, really appreciate it. Patty. Patty says she's new here and her three-year-old daughter found... Oh, that's so sweet. Super excited to rewatch this after she goes to bed. Funny story, but all your girls were called trolls their whole life and now they're... Whoa. Whoa. You have a 31-year-old? A 30-year-old, a 27-year-old, and then a 3-year-old? You're crazy, Patty. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. You went you went out and did it again. What? You're crazy, Patty. That's that's wild, dude. <laughs> and also really cool. Welcome to uh, Club Crochet. Welcome to the club. Um, <laughs> Jane. Oh, Jane, thank you. Oh, shoot. Jane, you just kind of blew my mind, and here is why. Uh, Jane, Jane just said with her donation, looking forward to Lava Rush, and also that Inkly Source pattern. Uh, the game is actually called Lava Run, but I kind of like the name Lava Rush. You made me like fully rethink the name of this game. Lava Rush. Dang, that's a good name. I gotta think about that. Um, Jane, thank you so much for your donation. And you know what? I'm gonna go grab that special character that I was talking about before that I that I was gonna put out for this one. Let me go grab that character really quick. It's out in the other room. I think I've shown you on the live stream before, um, but it's very cool. Let me go. Show, let me go grab that real quick. 
be right back. All right, check this out. So, okay, so more, more in-depth details that I shouldn't tell you yet, but I'm going to anyhow. So in the game, uh, Stitched, I if, if the Kickstarter goes super duper well, I'm going to be doing a few uh, additions to it. So there's gonna be like, um, I'm calling, I'm gonna call that one like the Vicious Vegetation Expansion Pack which will be additional uh, mushroom characters that you could play as, uh, new items that you can add to your team, stuff like that. And then another addition I wanna add is, is the dragons and stuff. So that'll, that'll be characters like, um, you could play as a dragon, which a lot of people know are, is, is a pattern that's currently out on my um, site uh, or, or for rough drafts and stuff. Uh, and kobolds and this character. So this I'm calling right now, I'm calling it a dragonkin, I think is what I'm thinking of the name for it. I don't know. I'm still trying to think of like what to call him. Uh, but he's he's kind of like a dragonborn. He's like half dragon, but like a dragon man. I don't know. I'm still thinking about the name for him and, and like how his abilities would work. In the game, you could like each character type has different abilities. So like... Um, goblins have greed, so when they get gold, they get double the amount of gold, stuff like that. And this character, I think his ability is going to be to push, so he can shove characters away from him. Uh, something like that. So, yeah, he's a really, really, he's a one of a kind. Er, the first one I've made, I made this sick little axe for him. Look how freaking cool that axe is. It's so cool. I even like split the top and I made it like a legit axe. And he's got like those spines. He is so freaking cool. I love it. So he's he's currently called Dragonkin. And he's going to be out here just for you, Jane. Thank you for your support. Thank you. If you're curious about other characters, uh, you want me to put out more characters, um, go, ahead and give a, go ahead and give a tip and I'll put out another new character for you. I'll show you some other new stuff. I've got a few additions, a few more to show. Yeah, still still working on it. I need to play test the heck out of these new characters. But um, yeah, he is an early, early, early draft, early idea. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are, like, you can... I, I think it's pretty obvious how like stoked I am. I'm like so excited about this. I love this game. I think it's truly the my favorite thing that I've ever created is Stitched. Um, whenever people say like, what's your favorite thing that you've crocheted? I say Stitched um, because it's awesome. It's not like a single piece. It's like a bunch of things, but it's seriously the coolest thing ever. Yeah, exactly, Jane. Yeah, the push idea is great because you could like shove them away from gold, or if you're like really high up on them on like a cliff, you could shove them off the cliff. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. 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 And maybe like certain, you can only shove characters that are the same size or smaller than you, so you can't push like an ogre. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm still, I still got to think about it more. And like what kind of stats they would have. Like how smart would a dragon kin be? Would they be intelligent? I don't know. Maybe. Would they have would they be fast? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's untangle this a little bit. How fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I am very, very passionate about uh, Stitched and, and my crochet in general. Oh yeah, man. Totally, Johnny. It, 
it is very much a growing I, I think it's very much a growing uh, growing craft people th I think it's so silly when people say that it's like for old ladies or whatever and I'm like you clearly don't understand the like uh, the depth of what crochet is or could be like yes yes you can make uh, hats and blankets and you know granny squares whatever but it is so much more than that dude you can do so many things it's 3d printing it's like you can make puppets with it you can make literally i can't think of anything you can make anything with crochet human life you can make with crochet <laughs> You can make anything. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's a good idea, Jane. Yeah, like a like a limit. Like you can you can push small characters two spaces away and big characters you can push one space away. Something like that. That's a good idea. Okay. We got a little feats there. I think it might be kind of fun to give him a, um, like a, 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 a vest. I'm a vested in him. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, so I think I might be kind of fun. Add a little vest to him. Yeah, I I know it, dude. You can make anything with crochet. Oh, guys, you know what I'm super excited about? You know what I'm going to do after this live stream? I'm going to go watch the fifth episode of Loki. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Last week was so good. I won't spoil anything, but if you haven't started watching Loki on Disney Plus yet, hard suggestion. Do it. It is a very, very good show. I would say it is my one of my favorite things Marvel's even done in a long time. It's so good. Um, okay, we want to add a belly button. We need to sew on the arms, and then we can uh, sew him up, uh, make him a vest, and then start messing around with some like texture, maybe adding uh, some warts or some scars. Let's see what we want to do. But let's grab um, some pipe. <laughs> Misty, thanks, dude. He's our troll. He's not just mine. He's ours, Misty. We making we're making him together. All right. So we want to add. We want to add some pipe cleaners here. We're gonna have to. Oh yeah, that could work, Cooperlicious. Maybe. Maybe the push depends on the opponent's speed. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's interesting, too. Yeah, so one of the things that I'm changing in the game uh, is speed is going to be all done a little bit differently because I'm making it so when you steal in the game, uh, you use your speed stat instead of your intelligence stat. It's a long story. But, uh, yeah, I'm making speed work a little bit different in the end of the game now. So... Utilizing it for other things might be pretty cool. Oh, I was gonna stay up late, but Jules, my girlfriend, was like, no, I want to, but we can't. And then she stayed up really late anyhow playing um, Firewatch. Have you ever heard of Firewatch? It's a it's a game where you play as like a, like a, a someone in a, it's kind of like a hiking simulator. It's very strange. But she stayed up late to watch that, and I was like, why don't we just, why don't we watch, why don't we watch Loki? Why haven't we watched Loki yet? Oh, I need a stick.
Good night, Tina. Oh, you know what? Hold on, Tina. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wake up. Huh? <clears throat> Tina? I just want to say, uh... Uh, thanks for, uh, joining, uh... Where are you? Is that... Is that... There she is. Thank you, Tina. Good night. I hope you have a great night. And, uh, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Okay. Thanks for... Thanks for popping in, Jack. No problem. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know this guy, uh, this would be, this is, this is Jack Gurgle. Um, he is our resident goblin uh, uh, that likes to just talk and, and eat money, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's Jack for you. Is that all I am to you? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well. Hello, everybody. I'm Jack Gurgle. I'm very important. As you can probably tell by my top hat and bow tie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Jack. Go on. You get to set up on your little bed there and go ahead and take a nap. Go ahead and take a nap. Who knows? Maybe if the Kickstarter goes super duper well, I'll do a, a big pattern for Jack Gurgle as a like an extra super thank you. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I want to do a pattern for Jack eventually, though. I think it'd be really fun. I think it'd be a really cool uh, kit for Club Crochet Pro to do like a um, uh, a puppet, make your own puppet. I was thinking it, that would be really cool to do in like November, maybe. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it. Like you know, that's just so much. Just so much to do. So much to do. So little time. Okay, so we got the arms. Now let's go ahead and add them to our body. One, two, wiggle it in there. Cool. Jenny agrees. That would be really cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I think that would be really, really neat. whole room of Jack Gurgles. Oh lord. Oh lord, they coming. <laughs> they coming. So right now I'm adding pipe cleaners that are going to go inside the arms and um, I usually do that so that the arms can be bendable and like posable so you can have your arms like pointing in any way you want um, but it also just adds some like uh, some sol solidity I don't know if that's a right, real word but makes them a little bit more solid so that's what I'm doing if you're curious why he's got these little dinky arms help help <laughs> oh okay don't <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna go, yeah, that's gonna be outside, so that's gonna be inside. Yeah. I definitely wanna redo the patterns for these, um, not because I think they need a redo, but because I think, um, I just think I can explain certain parts of these patterns a little bit better. Like how to sew on the arms, for example. Because I've, I've, by making like hundreds of these trolls and orcs and stuff, I have learned ways to make these arms so much easier. Not to make them, but to sew them onto the body. It's just like, just I've evolved. Yep. More structure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, exactly. If you make too many Jack Gurgles, you're going to be broke because Jack's just going to eat all your money. 
That's what that song is. It's from the B world. Good ears, Cooper. Really good ears. one arm sewn on. There we go. Doodaloo. We got our arms. We got the leg. We got our ears and the head. I'm just telling I'm just talking about body parts now. We got your back and your butt. <laughs> I made it all. I'm writing a, a really, really good um, uh, musical all about uh, the body parts of a troll. <clears throat> Hope! Hello, Hope. I like the name Hope a lot. Do you remember the show Raising Hope? I think it was on like NBC a long time ago. I really like that show. How about the name, guys? Anybody getting uh, any good ideas for names for this troll? It's going to probably be a lot easier once we finish doing the hair and the face and stuff to come up with a name. But I do like the pungent idea that Jenny was having. If you do have a good idea for the name, you can find a link in the description of this video, the top link there, uh, and you can submit a name to the to a form, and then I will choose my favorite out of the names that are suggested. Or actually, I'm probably going to choose like a few of my favorites and then do a poll and see what other people want to name them. I don't know yet. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Maybe there's gonna be one in there that like I just absolutely love, and I, I, I can't leave it up to chance. I need it to be named that. Sometimes that happens. Okay, let's add a belly button. I add, I always add a belly button to my um, trolls and orcs and stuff. It's like. I kind of think of it as my personal um, signature for the character. It's not necessary, but it is fun. I just go over. And it's kind of hard to see it sometimes too. So it's like kind of barely uh, an addition there. Like that. Oh, cool. Thank you, Janie. Johnny. Janny. Jan I'm, I'm, you know, it's one of those. Misty wants to name him Nigel, and dude, Misty, that is a good suggestion. You should put that in the in the form. Maybe we'll maybe we'll create a name out of like a first name from one person and a last name from someone else. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so we got our arms on there. Uh, we got our head. He lo he's looking pretty classic right now, pretty normal. 
Um, we can probably go ahead and add our glasses on now, get some idea of what that's going to look like. It's pretty good. Because the glasses already are adding a lot to them. And then, and then I'm thinking um, hair out of the ears, like someone else was saying there. Um, God, I think a beard might be kind of fun though, right? Mustache, we don't really have too much real estate for a mustache because his lip is so close to his nose. It's gonna be hard to fit a mustache in there. So I think, and I think he's just got a little bit too much going on at the top to, to really add a mustache in there. So I think we're gonna have to avoid the mustache for now. But the ears, here's, here's would be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and sew this guy up. Um, do our last few rounds here of crochet. Actually, no, I wanna use a sharp decrease. I was gonna use an invisible decrease there on the bottom, but I really want it to close in really fast. So I'm gonna do a sharp decrease instead, which is essentially like two slip stitches put together instead of an invisible decrease. And uh, yeah, the reason is because it'll really close it in fast and make it really flat on the bottom. So he'll have an easier time at um, standing up straight. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's stuff him up a little bit. Now, we'll do, we'll stuff him a little bit more later. Once we do one more round. I think his head could be stuffed a little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. Let's go ahead and use some of this excess thread to stuff him so we don't have too much waste. Instead, we can use this to stuff them closed. Let's save this tooth. I think I could reuse that tooth for someone else. That's pretty good, I think. How long have we been going for? Oh, we haven't, we haven't even capped two hours yet. We're doing fine. We're doing fine on time. I mean, two hours is, you know, significant, but I was expecting that, so it's okay. I think we're on repeat of songs, though. Let me see if I can find a new... Let's do this one, ready? but different. Wow. You hear that? Let's see, I think I might be able to get my back a little bit too. Oh, I was a low back crack. Wowza. I feel like I just, I feel like I dislocated my spine. <laughs> Felt great. <laughs> Goatee. Now that's gonna be. I think. I don't know if I can give him a goatee. Just because I don't think I can get around those the lips because it's so long. It'd be like it wouldn't even look like a goatee. It just look like a beard. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I always think. So I used to uh, when I was in college and a little dude that didn't know what he wanted to look like. Um, I had a, uh, I had a pretty solid mustache, but I also had a pretty solid goatee. I don't know if you can tell, but my facial hair grows in like a perfect goatee, and I look like an evil magician or something when I when I had it. And my mom was like, "Oh, I love the goatee," and I was like, "I don't know about this. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna tie someone to 
train tracks. <laughs> I was not a fan of my goatee. But who knows, one day maybe I'll have kids and I'll want to switch things up. I'll get a goatee. This is what my dad did. He grew a goatee and then he could never get rid of it because I hated the way it looked without a goatee. All right, so I'm adding a nickel in the bottom of them. That's just to keep them weighed down a little bit. It's a little easier to have them stand up. Oofa doofa, Louie. No, yeah, I agree. I agree. It looked terrible. I hated it. I look back at pictures of it and I go, oh, God, why did I do that? Yeah, Doctor Strange, yeah. That being said, I did grow a super solid mustache that I think looked great. I, I think I look great in a mustache. Jules hasn't, well, she's never really seen a full solid mustache from me because I haven't really had one while we've been dating, but uh, uh, she will one day and mustache, mustache Louie looks good in my opinion. It only a little bit looks like I'm from a 70s porn. Just a little bit, but <laughs> I feel like everybody that wears a mustache a little bit looks like they're from a 70s porn. Okay, so we got our, there we go. Okay, so we've sewn up. Let's do a, um, let's start by making a, a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, 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 a vest for him. Um, Tesselarian, if... You, okay, so it's up to you on how you want to give me feedback. Uh, probably the easiest way to give me feedback is just commenting on the on the post itself. So if you just scroll to the bottom and comment there. Um, uh, that's probably the easiest way to give feedback that I will check. Um, you can also email it to me if you would rather email me feedback. That's fine too. Uh, people have done that. Only really good use for nickels is to stuff them up the butts of characters. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, which one do you have most of? Yeah, probably nickels. Yeah, that's probably true. Four. Let's see how this looks. So we're going like, just like this, right? Fifteen's pretty good then. Okay, we'll do that. Yesterday I was um, recording the pattern for the um, flamingo bird, and in the middle of recording it, I just totally lost focus. I was like, I don't know, like mid sentence, I just like stopped and I was like, duh, duh. It was so weird. Never happened in the middle of a video like that, but as now. I don't know why I'm telling you that. I just thought it was interesting. Lost complete focus. Okay. Pull that tail through. By the way, if you don't know what we're doing here, we're making a troll and currently we are making the, um, a vest for our troll. I want it to be bigger than this. Let's find out. No. No. We'll go with armholes now. Yes. Okay. And we'll make our armholes. Get us up 
two, and then one, two. I'm gonna skip two spots. Yeah, that goes. Okay, that. I get my arm right into that little, into that little hole. Perhaps. Yes, yeah, it'll stretch, but. Okay, let, we'll do one more chain just to make it a little bit easier for it to get onto his arm. And then let's hide this tail end in. So we can crochet around it. I guess we don't really need to do that. But. Yeah, I just had a brain fart, pretty much. <laughs> the person playing my sim accidentally canceled my action. That's funny. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. What I really like about adding these vests is that you can take them on and off. So if you don't really like the vest or you want to be wearing something different, you totally can. I really like that. Where do you get so many coins though, Johnny? I don't get that many coins anymore. I have to go to the, I actually go to uh, the bank and I ask for like rolls of nickels because I, that's the only coin I really use. Nickels and quarters. I use nickels for these guys, and I use quarters for laundry. So we're going like this. This side will go over there. We'll go like all the way around. Like that, and then we'll... One, two. I'll skip the two. And then... Three... Slip stitch here, and that might be a little long. I might need to fix this. But we will see. We will see. That's pretty good. Okay. Cut the yarn. Pull it through. I actually want to cut this end too. And let's put this on his arm already. Make sure that it fits right before I do the other one. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that'll fit. That'll fit. It's going to be a little bit tricky to, like, get it over the arm, but it'll work. Your dad like many 90s kids. <laughs> Dude, so I was um, watching, I was just on Reddit, and one of the uh, posts on Reddit was someone showing their, like, the, like oh, them opening a pack of Pokemon cards, and I was, like, super into Pokemon when I was young. So all these Pokemon cards that they're opening, I was like, oh, I got that one, I got that one, and he's showing the price of how much they cost per Pokemon card, and I was like, oh my god, like... Like, he comes up with the last one. It was like a hollow Charizard or something. And it was like, you know, $10,000 or something like that. And I was like, holy crap, I have that somewhere. I've got like a first edition holographic Charizard somewhere. But then I realized, oh no, I don't. Because my mom threw my Pokemon cards away when I moved to college. So, that sucked. <laughs> oh well. Maybe they're still somewhere in the attic, but I'm pretty sure she got rid of them or gave them to someone else. She didn't think I wanted them anymore because... I don't know why. Because. Because reasons. 
Bobby, hello. Welcome. Okay, so we got our... Look at our vest. Huh? What do we think? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, next, we want to add hair and maybe um, beard. Uh, so let's figure out what kind of hair, what color hair do we want to make him? What do we, do we want to add to him, guys? Um, so we can do like, let's see, we could do, uh, we probably want it to be fuzzy, right? So that's, that's the first step is to find some fuzzy yarn and then some, and then maybe I could find some different colors and you guys can help me choose. Let's do that. Oh, joy. Okay, wait, hold on. Before I do that. We got one, two, we got two new members. Uh, Cheryl and Joy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, never mind. Just Joy, Cheryl cancel. <laughs> so Joy, thank you so much for joining to become a Club Crochet member. Um, if you are on the live stream, I am gonna place. I'm gonna put something out for you. Let's do something new. Oh, 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 oh! Last week we showed dwarves. Here we go. We're gonna go with. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a dwarf. I'm gonna put a dwarf out for you. Um, so this is for Joy, who just became a Cup Crochet member. I don't know if you're in the chat or not, but if you are. Uh, thank you so much, Joy. And I'm gonna put out this guy for you. This is a dwarf, and his name is Miss. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's his. That's his inner thing there. There we go. Fixed it. His name is Mr. T. T E A. He really likes T. Um, and he's dope. Look how cool he is. Look at that beard. Oh, he's so cool. So this is a dwarf. It's another character that I'm working on that might be in uh, the stitched. Kickstarter might not depends on how much we get but um, thank you for joining joy and uh, yes welcome to the fold uh, he's also wearing this super cool like like uh, like I did color changes for it but it just looks so cool to me okay so we're gonna put him here mr. T E A T um, okay so let's go grab the hair let's go grab some some furry yarn let's see what we got few colors this one might be pretty good I mean it's it is gray but it but it's like a fuzzier weird gray um, I grabbed red I don't think I really want it to be red but you know might as well um, we got the maroon that's actually the same maroon as the top of this guy's head so do that one that one that one um, I got this really fuzzy green. I don't know if this is a great idea though because it doesn't really show up. I don't think, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take it out because I don't think it's a great idea. There's another gray. Don't really like that gray either. Actually, I'm gonna put this one back too. And let's see, let's see if I can find some other ones. I'm not sold on any of those colors. We got this purple, that kind of might be fun. And then this other gray. Yeah, okay, leaning towards some gray. Oh, hey, Taylor! Hello. Taylor is my brother. So, hello, Taylor. How you doing, dude? I owe you a call. I know I do. I'm sorry, I haven't called you yet. Um, but I owe you a call. Hope you had a good 4th of July. 
with dad and his. My dad for Fourth of July was wearing a uh, the most ridiculous Fourth of July like T-shirt ever. It was so silly. Okay, so we're leaning towards gray. It looks like most people are leaning towards gray. Jazzis, Jessica, welcome. Um, okay, so let's try. I just think this purple is gonna be like a little much. Oh, but people are saying purple pink. It's, it's, it's got a, it smells like a, like an alpaca. Um, okay, let's see, do I have any other colors? Whoa. Um, okay, so we're not doing reds, right? So let's go ahead and put those away. So we're down to these grays, more of a brown gray and a gray gray. This guy's gonna be in the picture too, so we don't want it to be close, too close to this color of hair. So, I think, let's try this one coming just out of the ears and see what that looks like. Because this one, I think, matches his... Hmm, I'm torn, man. I'm torn. We'll try, let's try this one, though. I'll just cut a little bit off, and we'll make it poke out of his ears, and we'll see how that goes. That's a good start, right? And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go in through this side and come out through this side. That. And then we'll go and just get a little bit more. Thread that one. Actually, that's kind of cool. That's actually like way cooler than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> that's cool. All right, we're doing this gray then. We're going with it. Oh, a lot of people are saying the lighter one though. Okay, well, you know what? That's no problem, hold on. Let's see how this looks. We can, we can take this out really, really easy, so it's not a big deal. Let's try this lighter gray too. Let's try both of them, see how it goes. Maybe the two of them together will really like add something to it. So let's go ahead and try both. If we don't like them both, we can pull one of them out. Okay. We'll Dethread this. Maybe we can make it blend a little bit together a little bit better. That. What do we think about that? It does make him look a lot like more wise. I actually kind of like both of them together. It kind of gives this kind of weird blend. I like it. What is the song playing? That's a great question. I got no idea. <laughs> great question that I don't know the answer to. Let's try that. And then I'll just go ahead. Mix it. You know, let's go ahead. Let's try cutting it, just trimming it a little bit. How do we feel about that? So this is the, the button hat would be kind of cute. Maybe he has a button shield. No. He's pretty close. He's pretty close to being done, but I don't know. I feel like I want to add something to him, but I can't. Oh, oh, let's try some. 
<coughs> oh, music is a little loud. Okay, here you go. Boom. Turn it down a few decibels. The one before this one. Oh yeah, I don't know what it was because it's like a big compilation. I'm sorry. He does kind of look like a woodworker, doesn't he? He kind of looks like, <laughs> kind of looks like Joel's dad a little bit. Um, let's do some, let's do some rings. Let's do some metal. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can add a wart. A wart might add a lot of, a lot of detail to him too, right? Oh, Zoe says eyebrow. We can try that. We can try that. Let's try eyebrow with the um. Well, let's let's take this out real quick. Maybe do an eyebrow with dark gray. Where did I put it? Oh, there. Because I think the dark gray eyebrow will look a little bit cleaner than the light gray. But who knows? Let's try it. Joy! Hello, Joy! Welcome, welcome. Okay. So here's something I want to try doing also with this. So I want to get it ready to go over the eyebrow. It's going to be like that. Well, actually, that's pretty good just on its own. So let's do it. Let's see, how far away do we want the eyebrows? The, or the eyebrow, I should say. Go in right here. Try coming out somewhere on the back, right there. And then, oh my gosh, this eyebrow is great, dude. Zoe, I'm loving the eyebrow. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so there's our eyebrow. And then our glasses over the eyebrow. Or under it. What do we think? It's kind of a lot going on there, but I, I think I like it. Heck, even this coming out the back ain't too bad. Well, actually, I think, I think him being bald is better. But, like, keep the eyebrow. Keep the eyebrow. Lose the... Lose the hair in the back. So just double knot that. Cut it. And stuff it. Yes, I do. I have a bunch of other fungaloids, Johnny. So many. Like a crazy amount. I'll show you one more before we're... Well, we're almost, we're almost done, actually, to be honest. I think this... Well, let's pull this ear out a little bit more. I'm going to trim this one just a little. Right? What do we think? What are we thinking? Let's add a... I, I'd like to just add one wart. And see how that goes. If I can find my blue yarn. He does, he does look like a, like a, um, Nigel Pungent. He definitely looks like Nigel Pungent to me. Okay, so let's do a wart, like, like here on the neck. Now, the tricky thing about doing warts is you gotta make it look, like, I don't want it to look like a, um, like a mess up in the crochet. We want it to really make it look like a wart. So I'm gonna use a rose, um, like bullion knot here. One, two, three, we'll keep it away. In and out. that what do we think what do we think of the wart there uh, uh, I, 
think I'd like the warp more on the face. Maybe like right there. Right there on the neck. Let's put it a little bit higher on the neck. Right here. You're thinking a ward on the top of his head? You know, I don't know if I really have a full pattern for these mushrooms, but I'll tell you what, Tassilarian, I will um, work on one uh, for um, for November. I'll, I'll, I'll try coming out with a mushroom pattern in November. Um, in the meantime, if you do want to make a mushroom, I would suggest looking at the fungaloids, aka the mushroom man, and then just not making the body of him, just making his head. Uh, that That is basically how I make the mushrooms. Um, yeah, not these ones though. I actually don't have a pattern for these ones, but they're, they're really easy, so I can show you how. So how's that for a wart? Like right there on the neck? What do you think? Do we want to give him a necklace? What if we give him a necklace? What if we give him a necklace? Let's try that actually. Okay, so let's do this first. Because I think I like this wart. it nice and close stuff that in there right okay oh my god dude this guy's so cool dude dude you guys are freaking geniuses okay um our, uh, let's see what a necklace let, let's see what a necklace will look like um first off we need something to put on the necklace um so uh let's look into buttons let's look at what kind of buttons i have um we could do a gold button room is messy okay let's see what we got I got these cool buttons man we got to keep hey if you're watching this and then later um I'm like hey what would be cool what would be cool is using these buttons on the top of a head with hair sticking out so it's like tied to the that would be cool I'm sure that's why I bought those What other buttons I've got here? This is a nice, that's a nice button. It's not really colorful enough though. It kind of blends into the background. So maybe not that one. How about a green button? How about this little one? Is that too small of a button? Like that, like hanging on something? Hmm. No. Oh, how about pink? Hold on, I almost got it. Hold on. How about this? How about a little pink button that's tied to a string that goes around his neck? Let's try that. Eh. Jenny's not feeling the button idea. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens, though, when we do it. And then we can always get rid of it. this needle even fit through there though no will it Ugh. no I'll have to just do it in a weird way like this Ugh, like that 
Orange, yeah, we could try orange. So here's our options for orange. Got this one, which might be a little big and weird, but we could try it. Ah, crap. I'll pick that up in a second. Oh, here's a tiny orange. Got a little bitty, bitty, bitty orange on. Might be a little too small. Oh, here's right in between. I think I got one that's like right in between. It kind of looks weird though. It looks like an unfinished button. Oh, actually, it's not too bad though. Yeah, I'm feeling the button idea, but the complimentary colors part of your brain is screaming. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, I I, hear what you're saying, though. I hear what you're saying. It's hard. It's a hard decision to make. That's kind of why I was going pink, because I thought it, like, kind of looked nice. I don't think green's going to be the one to do. I don't, yeah, I don't think I love the green one. We can do, like, natural colored buttons. Try that. But he's got so many natural colors on him. Oh, another look at how awesome that button is. Okay, now this isn't good for this guy, but imagine, imagine if you will, a goblin with this on its head and two pieces, to, oh, and then tied, so it's like tied to the top of his head like that. That's a great idea. You can do a white button. Got a brown one. No, brown's boring. We don't want to do that one. Ah, decisions, decisions. Oh, here's a needle that we're going to need anyhow. Let's go ahead and poke that one in. Wait. Wait. So I keep magnets on the sides of this light box so that I can like just throw a, a needles on it and it sticks to the needle. So. Okay, Cooperlicious says likes the pink but thinks the middle size for orange would be good. Dude, bag of day crochet! How you doing? How you doing, dude? Thanks. Thank you. I've been enjoying your shows too. Oh, what's this button? What about this one? Look at the back of that button. It's really cool. Oh, you can't really see it. Okay, we're thinking too hard about this. Guys, we gotta we gotta choose. We're either gonna go pink or orange. Is that button too big? That's not too big, actually. That's not bad. Gosh, I mean, I'm having a hard time deciding. Crystal, what do you think? What kind of button do you think we should add to our... to our, uh... to our troll here? Because we are kind of torn on decisions. We're either thinking pink or orange and little big buttons. It's our last big decision here. Well, regardless, we're going to need some of this. So let's go ahead and grab that. Tassilarian's voting orange. We got orange, orange, two oranges. This is the time to decide, guys. Oh, Bagaday says orange also. Crystal says orange. All right, let's do orange. Let's do it. I think orange is good. And let's do this slightly bigger one. I know it's got this weird, like, kind of gap in it. But um, I think it's unique, you know? It's a unique button.
Yeah, let's do let's do this one. Medium size orange button. Yeah, a lot a lot of people are saying orange. Hello, Leaf Sauce. Welcome to the stream. We're just finishing up, to be honest. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's time to to make decisions. It's time to play the music. Now, is that going to be enough? Or do we need to sew it on double? Okay, like this? I like it. I like it. He is so unique. He's got so much character to him. I am a fan of... Now, name pending. But, uh... You know. Maybe it's Nigel Pur Nigel Pungent. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. And I'm just going to go and sew it in the back like this. One side like that. The buttons are super... These are... I, I really like adding really simple necklaces to these characters like this. Nice and simple. Like that. Go a little tighter. Like that. It looks like it means something to him, right? It looks like this button is from his past. Something happened, and he has this button now to remember something by. Or maybe it's all the money he's got. Because I, I assume buttons are probably currency in this in this uh, goblinoid world. Now, we don't know that for sure, but it does feel that way. Okay. Loosen it up a little bit. Loosen this side up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Got it. Oopsies. I pulled it tighter again. We're going with it, guys. It has been decided. There we go. And I think our troll is done, Zo. Okay, guys, now is definitely your chance. If you have a name for this guy, now is your chance to name him. Um, currently, I'm really digging the name Nigel Pungent, but we can change that name. Um, if you got something better, you let me know. Go to the go to the description, top link in the description. It says there's a form that says name this troll. Give me a name. I'm gonna choose one, and uh, and I'll either, if I really like one, I'll either just name him, or if I uh, if I like a few, I'll put it up to the community to decide. We'll we'll vote on it. Um, but regardless, guys, what a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday live stream! Thank you all so much for joining. I think you guys helped me make. One of the most unique trolls we've done. It's got so much character to him. You can see, like, there's just, there's a story behind this guy. We don't know what it, what the story is yet, but there is a story there. Loving the glasses. And, oh, he's perfect. He's going to look perfect on the front cover. Thank you guys for your suggestions. So, so far, we got we got our orc. We got our troll. I think I'm just going to go with an, uh, an ogre and a, go uh, and a goblin that I already have for the other two. But, um, yes, I think this is pretty great. If you ask me, I'm really digging it. Johnny, thank you for the fun. Thank you. No, yeah, yeah, no problem, Jazzus. Um, cool. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you to everyone that's donated. Look at all the donations. I appreciate all of you so much. Have a blessed week to you as well, Bobby. Um, so the next live stream, by the way, if you're joining and you're like, oh, when's he going to be live streaming next? Uh, it's not going to be this Sunday, but the Sunday after this is when I'll be back. 
Um, and I don't know what we're making just yet. I think we'll probably be making... We'll probably be, probably be making um, our our uh, flamingos that next Sunday. So either we'll either be making a flamingo burb, which looks like this. Or we'll be doing a, um, a Florence the Flamingo that looks like this. Oh, wait, his head didn't come off. <laughs> so probably one of these two. Not this Sunday, but the Sunday after the date. Let me look at what date that would be. Um, that would be the... Um, so not the 11th, the 18th. So um, we'll, I'll be back July... 18th at um, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, that's a Sunday. If you haven't yet, please, please subscribe down below and definitely like this video. I didn't say that at all beforehand. It's probably not got too many likes to be completely honest, but that's okay. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a like down below. Um, it really helps just me know what to do and for it to get out to other people, stuff like that. Um, so please give this video a like down below and um, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it whenever I come out with new ones. Uh, the the yes, I know, right? The the this he looks stoned. He does kind of look stoned. He looks like he's seen some things. <laughs> um, but yeah, you have an awesome week too, Leaf. You have an awesome week also. And uh, let's just give another little look to our to our dude here. Oh, by the way, check this out. Um, I made this last week or last time. Let's go ahead and um, we'll just use this one for right now. So I'm just gonna move this one over. Check this thing out. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. Undo that. Um, how do I do this? I'll do media source. So check this out, right? I made a um boop. I'm just gonna call it a boop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I almost got done. Almost done. I want to show you this. There it is. Last week, using our the character we made. Oh shoot, it's really loud. There we go. Look how cool this is. I think I'm gonna try to do this again this week. Oh shoot, it stopped. I'm supposed to loop it. There we go. Check it out. So it, it it's like a reel or a TikTok. So if you want to see this again, just check it out on TikTok. But I'm gonna try to do another one of these for for this this one too. It's like I I use this background and then I just like. I like slid the camera on. It was pretty cool. I was I was pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. Anyhow, you know you know how I do. I just uh, try to avoid leaving. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much again for watching. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. Good. Bye. Ugh. Ugh. Goodbye. Bye. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Johnny, yeah, absolutely. Take a screenshot. You do it. You go for it. Here. Here, let me see if I can get a better... Let's see if I can get a better camera angle here for you. Well, here, you go ahead and do your screenshot. Move this guy's all over. I'm moving everything over. Let's see. What's that? There you go. Get this guy in there for you. There you go. Oh my god. No, you hang up. No, you know what? You hang up. No, you hang Oh, stop it. Oh my god. You are so bad, Cooper. No, you... Oh, my God!